Hi guys, very good evening. I'm Dr. Preeti Sharma. I've done my MBBS and MD from Vardhaman Mahavir Medical College and Safdarjang Hospital in New Delhi. And I teach on the platform of An Academy. So a brief introduction for those who are joining us for the first time. And as for the other students who are exam going and have been with us since a really long time, you know we are ongoing with a series known as IOTD. Image of the day, daily at 10 p.m. So yes, since the past 3-4 days, we've been covering the uh, images of microbiology in a, you know, the most most important high yielding ones. So today again I've got another set of images of microbiome which happens to be this and I hope you're able to tell me what are these two culture media used for. These are used for a differentiation and yes I hope everyone knows this. This is used for knowing whether the colonies or the organism is a lactose fermenter or whether it is a non-lactose fermenter. So what is the name of these two uh, culture media that I've shown you? The first one, the first one over here happens to be the Mekongki agar. Okay, so the first one is a Mekongki agar, and let's see what is the composition of a Mekongki agar. It goes by a very famous mnemonic known as plant. What is plant? P for peptone, L for lactose because obviously we have to differentiate lactose fermentation from non-fermentation. So lactose has to be there. It has to be an agar. It has to do a color change to be able to tell me whether lactose has been fermented or not. So I do need an indicator, right? So it, that indicator is neutral red. And then it has T for torocolate. Torocolate, sodium torocolate, what are these? These are nothing but bile salts. So repeating plant, P for peptone, L for lactose, A for agar, neutral red and torocolate. So first and foremost, these bile salts are going to inhibit the growth of other organisms because bile salts have an inhibitory action. They inhibit the growth of other organisms and on the other hand, they also inhibit swarming. I hope you remember in the previous sessions only I have taught you, I have shown you a picture of swarming and I have told you the list of the organisms. So in case you have missed out, get back to the previous sessions. But remember what aspect of they ask you, how how does Mekongki agar inhibit swarming? You will say because it contains bile salts. Bile salts have an, have an inhibitory action on swarming. Coming to the main point, when lactose is fermented, what color do we get? So please remember lactose fermentation gives a pink color. So this part of the culture media where you are seeing a pink color means lactose has been fermented. So can you think of organisms which are lactose fermenters, the two very famous ones? Yes, they are E. coli and Klebsiella. They are E. coli and Klebsiella. So now, every day I have been giving you a little homework. Today I am going to ask you that both E. coli and Klebsiella are going to be lactose fermenter. But there is something additional in the, in the colony of Klebsiella that easily differentiates it from E. coli. Both of them will give a pink color. But something in Klebsiella, some characteristic finding in the colony of Klebsiella is there. I want all of you to type out and tell me what is that finding. Done with the first one, Mekongki agar. The next one that we have is this one and this is known as the CLED media. Now what is the CLED media? CLED stands for C-L-E-D. So that is cysteine. It is cysteine because it contains cysteine. Number two, it is lactose because again I am wanting to find out lactose fermentation and ED for electrolyte deficient. Cysteine, lactose, electrolyte deficient and first and foremost, in this, again you will ask me that, okay, are you trying to do lactose fermentation? Yes. So what color do I get? Guys, if you see the culture plate, it usually has this bluish, greenish kind of a color. But when it turns yellow, I say lactose has been fermented. So if I ask you that in the cled media, in the cled media, if I ask you what is the indicator, the indicator that you are going to say is bromothymol blue. It is bromothymol blue. That is why can you see the color of the culture plate is a little bluish. And that bluish color is because of bromothymol blue. But when lactose is fermented, it becomes yellowish in color. 
Apart from that, because I've made it deficient in electrolytes, it is electrolyte deficient, this also can inhibit swarming. Because of electrolyte deficiency, this is also famous for inhibiting swarming. So coming back to the two images, the number one image that we had, this was a McConkie agar. In McConkie agar, when I'm talking about lactose fermentation, the color that I get is a pink color. The next one that I was talking about is the Cled media. And in the Cled media, when I'm talking about lactose fermentation, the color that I get is a yellow color. Well, I hope you understood the IOTD image of the day, which brings us to the end. I hope all of you are also attending the different, uh, the different uh, TNDs and the grand tests that are going on. So for those who are unaware, every Saturday 9 a.m. to 12.30, there's a GT that is conducted, which obviously helps you analyze your score. And apart from that, we've introduced a very highly effective 25k plus question bank, which is available for the plus students and it includes all the 19 subjects. So in case you wish to subscribe either under the plus platform or the iconic platform iconic platform gives you access to both an academy as well as prep ladder so these are the different plans available and that's the referral code which will help you to get an additional discount thanks a ton for joining in guys i'm following your comments and i'm following the homework and the answers to the homework that i'm giving you on a daily basis so please do type out and let me know also any other feedback like you always know it's always welcome let me know what else can be added to improve this series and and to make this very efficient for your preparation. Thanks a ton for joining in. Good night. See you tomorrow, same time, 10 p.m. Thank you.